Hey you guys, so I wanted to come to you real quick just to share with you and to show you just how quickly and um, how you can pre prepare a healthy meal that doesn't take a lot of time or a lot of effort. Um, and all it requires is just a few simple ingredients. And sometimes you can even get these ingredients on 50% off clearance, which is what I was able to get on the um, sweet potato spirals. And I picked these up in my local grocery store. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be cooking with these. I already used like the orange, the yellow squash one and it was so delectable i had to come on here and share it with you so you could be able to share the goodness and some of the inexpensive um but still quality um vegetables and even though it's not spaghetti um the actual like macaroni noodle this tastes so darn good i don't even miss it i'm telling you Try this out. They have sweet potato kind. They have eggplant. They have all different kinds. So they, they have squash. They have eggplant. And they have zucchini. I mean, hey, you can even make this yourself. This was like $4.98. So I got this for $2. No, four. Yeah, so I got this for $2.50. For this. Um, yeah super great um and basically it just says that you saute them for three to four minutes because of course you don't want to cook all of the nutrients out of your um vegetables so you want to heat them if you're going to warm them up for me this is like a treat eating a, a heated dinner so yeah i just wanted to come and share with you i'm gonna go over with you real quick the ingredients and then i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the stove and cook this up um, so first off, um, I took three to four cloves of garlic and I just smashed them. I just smashed them down. Um, if you need yours fine, you could make them finer. Um, and then um, I have two cups of the sweet potato spirals. And then I have one cup of the dinosaur kale. And then I have one cup of the um, sliced mushrooms. And these are just regular organic mushrooms. So yeah, and then for extra flavor, I'm gonna throw in, um, or I'm gonna squeeze half the juice of a lemon. So yeah, when I made this the other day, I only had um, the spiral noodles and garlic and mushrooms but it was so divine um so yeah definitely try this out um and tell me what you think um because i thought it was absolutely amazing yeah like so all the vegetables in this bowl you definitely don't want to cook them like the package says no more than about three to four minutes if in the beginning you need to cook them a little bit longer um you can, but then just remember you're cooking all of the nutrients out. So you, it would kind of be like defeating the purpose, right? So we don't want to do that. We want to make our fruits work for us and we're going to buy um, fresh produce. We want to get all the benefits out of them, not just eating produce. And look at all those colors, the orange, the white, the gray and um the green it's beautiful so let's go ahead and get this on the stove okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start cooking well i put my eye on five so you want it kind of hot i don't know but for some weird reason i think i need to put a sear on it or whatever but anyway, the first thing that I'm gonna start off with is the three cloves of garlic. Get them cooking. Cause I, I like mine just a little bit tender. And if you know me, I love garlic and it's good for you. And it has many medicinal purposes. So why not load up? 
And I'm gonna just scoot them around in the skillet for a little bit, just to get them a little bit brown and tender and to let off that aromatic. If you need to, you can add a little bit of water. Oh my goodness, the garlic is already starting to um, perfumeate. Um, yeah, you could add a little bit of water to it to help um, with softening up your garlic. But um, yeah, if you could stay away from oil, try to stay away from the oil as much as you can because where does that oil go? nowhere but to your hips um your arms your, your thighs everywhere we don't want it to go but if you have to like i say just try to find the best oil that you can find Yeah, so I got the um, garlic pretty perfumiated. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the mushrooms. Cause I want the mushrooms to kind of get a sear on them as well. And I guess if you wanted to, you could add like balsamic vinaigrette or something. Um, you just have to, you know, make it your own. This is just a guide and I love it, so I just wanted to share it with you so you can see one of my hot cooked meals. Um, I do eat food. <laughs> I do eat food um, or hot food. When we talk about cheat days, this is what I consider a cheat day. And depending on where you're at in your weight loss journey, or your healing journey, or your better eating journey. These are just ideas also that you can take in that um, don't, don't require me. Because we know where there is a lot of meat, there is things that are associated with it that keep us sick and not functioning at our best. So I'm going to take the time. I'm going to start timing it from this point on. And like I say, if it's too dry, if it starts sticking, you can add a little water to it, kind of steam it. But I guess this is what you would say, like sauteing. I'm gonna add some of the lemon in. Woo, listen to that simmer, that sizzle. Yes. Let me just knock that seed out. So yeah, I hope you checked out the last video, how to pick out the best watermelon. I did get two, um, two more watermelons because they're like on sale at my local grocery store. But yeah, check out my last video and you'll find out how I pick my um, uh, watermelon. And they usually start off in, um, they're good between like May and September is what I read. But yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and, and add in the two cups of the um, spiral sweet potato. Uh-oh. Two mushrooms hiding. Uh-oh, get back in there. And then I'm going to add the, um, the dinosaur kale, the one cup of dinosaur kale at the end because I still like my dinosaur kale with a, um, with a lot of bite. Put that back 
in there. Yeah, if you feel like you need to turn it up some, you could turn it up just a little bit. And really what you're doing right here is just getting all the flavors married together. And if you want to, you can squeeze some more of that lemon juice on there. And then I'm not gonna throw this lemon away. I'm actually gonna eat the inside of this lemon or if you wanna use it to put in like your tea um, or your smoothie in the morning, you could just take that, that middle out of there and put it in there. Yeah, I don't waste these. And I also have a, um, a simmering pot recipe that I do with these lemons and I'll also come and show you how to do that too um, it's it's natural it's no chemicals and it has your house smelling the most fragrant the most fragrant so this lemon is multi-purpose let me tell you get all of that on there see and so now it's just simmering a little bit so we're at four minutes since the time I started after I did the um, mushrooms. And when you squeeze that lemon in there, it gets the bottom of that skillet. Um, all cleaned up and I like to take my noodles and just rub them in that because that's flavor. Let me tell you. So, like I say, at the end, I'm going to go ahead and add in the one cup of the dinosaur kale. And then I'm just going to stir that around. Just a little bit because I do like to have a bite in my kale that's why in this particular recipe I like the dinosaur kale because it's a little tougher and I think it holds up a little bit better and has that bite that I want to be able to enjoy so it's kind of like a stir fry it really really is it's kind of like a stir fry look how beautiful that is Really, look how beautiful is that in that skillet. Look at that. That really looks so beautiful. You got the orange, you got the bright green. And I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper on mine. Or you can do cayenne pepper. All right, and we are done. I'm gonna turn the eye off. Get some pepper. And now I'm gonna dash it with a little bit of pepper. And I like pepper. Some cracked pepper. So voila. We are done. Look at that beautiful, look at that beautiful dinner. Look at that. You cannot go wrong with something that looks this amazing. Oh, and the smell. If you love sweet potato and you love mushrooms and you love garlic and you love greens, you're gonna love this meal, I'm telling you. You definitely got to check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop me some of this up. 
and it's quite a bit of it. The other day, I ate the entire bowl of this, but I didn't measure it. But again, we wanna get in as many vegetables as we can throughout the day, along with our nuts and our fruits. into the garlic but yeah and then I'm just gonna dash it just a little bit with just a little bit more lemon cuz I like my lemon all right so there you have it look at that I call that my spaghetti vegetable spaghetti mmm and it smells so good. You could use this totally in a stir fry. Um, yeah, spaghetti or stir fry? I don't know. Leave, leave um. What do you think we should call it in the description box? But the main thing is, let's go ahead and taste this baby. Let me get a mushroom. I wish I found garlic, so maybe I needed more garlic in here too. So I'm getting ready to taste this. Okay. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Everything still has a bite to it. Look at that mushroom. Mmm. It's pretty divine. I could really entertain somebody with this. And this is just my little homemade meal I just made up of things that... I think I was craving these things, but I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up um, and go ahead and clean up my dishes. But I do wanna thank you. Um, if you're new here, um, I wanna thank you for watching my video. Um, and I hope you consider subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment in the comment section. And then if you're um, already a subscriber, I want to thank you as well. And please remember to like, share, um, and what are you doing? And um, yeah, just um, and hit that notification button. So every time I upload a video, you don't miss um, a upload and you can be able to um, share in the journey with me. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoy. Have a good evening and I'll be back soon. Take care. Hey you guys, so I wanted to come to you real quick just to share with you how you can easily and inexpensively and healthfully, health, health, healthly, healthy, healthily, healthy. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the vegetables in the skillet. Um, if I don't choose to use oil um, also, um, but if you just have to use oil, try to get the best um, oil that you can find. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the ingredients. 